So for today, we're going to be looking at the class specific items for the Assassin's Creed armor set. If you guys don't know, this is your last day to get the class items for all of the classes. I do recommend it at least for the Hunters and Titans because those are really cool. Warlocks, uh, it's not a good bond. I'm going to be, I mean, it's cool. It's just not distinct enough for me to be like yo pick these up so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be looking at the hunters now i'm going to be honest with you guys if you guys have been following me since lightfall you guys will know that this is a direct get from that this is an old set that i made and i literally made it for uh because it was a new new expansion new season i wanted to make something new and when I made this set, I legitimately was wild in because I do think this is probably one of the best Girl Falcon sets that I've made. It's definitely up there. It's like the one I judge a lot of the other Girl Falcon sets by. But for the helmet, we're going to be looking at the Shadows Mask for the arms, Virtuous Grips. For the chest piece, obviously the Girl Falcons. Nemean Strides for the boots. And then Mitsuyo's Cloak for the arm or for the cloak, obviously. So shader wise, continuum alloy is what I'm using just because I love, like the color of it, but there's so many other shaders you can use that it's not even funny. So first and foremost, let's talk about a few things. Unfortunately, virtuous grips is unavailable, um, which is funny considering they were available like a few months ago. I don't remember how long ago it was actually, but they were selling it for $15 each class, which I, st I still think is outlandish, but I think the best pieces here is going to be the virtuous grips with the Nemean strides just because both sides um are kind of equal when it comes to what they're using so on the left side it's pure cloth and on the right side is pure armor so that's kind of what i like because it kind of gives off the vibe of like that one side is strictly like the side that he uses a lot of um to block himself uh like sword wise or whatever even though i use guns and never use swords but still it's kind of like that same mindset of like that's where i would use like a like a shield or something like that so overall i think the, the thing that i would take away from this is i don't like how it looks on the females i think the males look a little like way better and that's just because of just how skinny the females are on the top which for the males it just looks very like i don't know it's hard to explain but let me know what you guys think as for the next set, again, if you guys have been following my content for a while, you guys will know that this is from the Ursa Furiosa video, if, which I think I did an Ursa Fu It's either an Ursa Furiosa video or just a random video that I did. But yeah, I've definitely used the Ursus Meridimus with the Wolf Kiss plate, especially with the pull position and the Amritus Dream on everything else but the chest piece. Um, Iron Companion Helm for the helmet the godsbane greaves for the boots and then for the cloak or the mark, I should say it's the Wolf Kiss mark. So yeah, I wanted to combine it with the wolf kiss plate because honestly um i'm obviously going for a viking set so which is why i'm using the iron companion set or the iron companion helm i think that goes really well with everything else the reason i'm using the pole position for the chest piece rather than amrita's dream is because amrita's dream turns the fur purple and i honestly the pole position is the only shader that i've found that turns it the that turns the fur white and doesn't look terrible with the plate armoring because the plate armoring takes off colors. So this is the best I could find. And I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to be honest. I, I like both male and female. I feel, I feel like the males look really cool because the arms don't look super bulky. But I also think that they like made the females boot or arms a little bit smaller to like make it look good with the chest piece. And overall, I think this looks really, really cool. Um, the only yeah the only annoying part is just the fact that the pull position if you really look closely it's definitely a different color but um Amrita's dream with the ursa furiosa ornament ursus meritimus is the best combo i think it's actually the shader that goes with i could be wrong about that but i love this ornament i think i think that ornament is super cool unfortunately Amrita's dream the shader is from the season pass of season of the lost if i remember correctly which is very unfortunate because yeah, it's unavailable now. So that's when it, that's kind of what I hate about season passes is that a lot certain pieces just become unavailable, which I mean, some people would argue why well, was there. So I should be special. No, it doesn't. That's the dumbest shit in the world and quite pathetic, honestly. So I'd rather, I'd much rather have people be able to get this just because it adds more, it adds more, uh, more potential for cooler things with people that have more hands on it. So that's kind of like where my head goes. 
And last but not least, we have the Warlocks, which I actually really like this set. To be fair, I've made this set before. I think with the, I think this was in the uh, the Christmas event uh, video for the Warlocks um, last year, I think. Either way, this is like one of my favorite sets that I've made just because it looks really, really cool. Uh, Atavastic Idol Hood with the Opulent Strix robes, I think is a dope combo. And, and Theme Look Invocation Books is also a good combo because it gives you that, that like Hawk Talon vibe. And then Eagle's Bond for the Bond. For the actual exotic, it's Sun Bracers with the Eyes of Mercury. For the Shadering Dawning, Dawning Brilliance is what I'm using. There's so many shaders that I could use for this. It's not even funny. So don't think, oh, this is the only one. There's so many shaders you could use. The only thing I would tell you to keep in mind is just make sure you get a glow that has the blue with the Eyes of Mercury. That's like the only thing I will tell you because it's going to look weird if you don't. So I actually really like this set. To be fair, my fiance actually chose a shader because I was like, which shader should I use? And she was like, I like this one. And I was like, all right, use that one then. Um, but there's so many other shaders you could use. So don't think this is like the only one. The other cool thing is the fact that the Advastic Idol Hood goes really well with the Anthemic Invocation Boots. <laughs> well, fortunately, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, because both uh, have off coloring and main color as well. So I think that is super cool. I say unfortunately because the Anthemic Invocation is also part of a Season Pass ornament, which means that this is unavailable as well. So there is a thing to be said like, well, should I use pieces that aren't available in the game anymore? Which I would say like, what would be the point of me, of me collecting these if not to put them in these videos? Now, there is there's, there's something to be said about, oh, maybe I should put pieces that are available in there so that way people can see options. Um, but at that point, just use the Atavatic Idol or boots if you really want something like that. So it's just one of those like this is the set that I made with it. If I'm using pieces that are unobtainable, then it kind of sucks. But at the same time, I want to use these pieces. I don't want to veto myself from pe using pieces that are unavailable because then at that point, what would be the point? So let me know what you guys think. I definitely like a lot of these. Um, to be fair, um, I did take a lot of sets that I've done. I mean, all of these sets I've taken from the past. And it's more, much more of a, I just wanted to show you guys some of the sets that I made because Lightfall was a while, like a year ago, I think. Or not, it doesn't even feel like a year ago. Probably a little bit more, like over a year ago. But I wanted to showcase that one because I am really proud of that one. Titans, I think that one is just one of my favorites. And honestly, there's a lot of sets that I could have chosen for a Vikings. I've done a lot of them. But for me, I wanted just to choose the Ursa Furiosa ones just because I love Ursa Furiosa. And then the bird one just kind of came to me. I was like, fuck it. I just want to use uh, the Eyes of Mercury ornament because it's legitimately one of my favorite ornaments in game. And not just for Warlocks. I mean, like in game, it's one of my favorite ornaments. It just looks amazing. So, yeah, I know some people might give me shit for it. But at the same time, it's my video. Let me know what you guys think. I will be working on a few things this week, hopefully fingers fucking cross that i actually make the uh, exotic ornament videos because if i do that'll be a lot of fun i'll also have some shorts coming out for those as well hopefully but i'm working on a few things i'm working on some non-destiny 2 content as well because uh quite frankly i'm not playing a lot of destiny 2 right now i'm per currently playing a lot of world of warcraft um a little bit of warframe and final fantasy 14 they just had their halloween event which made me want to get on to get their armor and we're most likely going to tr finally be doing the um, this is how I fashion in this game. So that way you guys can see what I fashion because I have different rules. That's another thing. I have a video uh, showcasing just like my rules in games, specifically like Destiny 2. I have like three rules, if I remember correctly, that I follow. And it's not even just like, oh, these are the rules that I came up with and I follow strictly. It's more of a instinctual type of thing like this is what i don't want to do this is what i want to do and stuff like that well i guess i made my own rules but either way like it kind of came naturally i didn't like have to like go down and like sit down and write this down it's just like immediately came to me um because there's different things like even destiny 1 to destiny 2 i i do things differently in destiny in destiny 1 um i would actually uh, wear like a full set of armor with an exotic but that was because it was a different time than destiny 2 Back in the Destiny 1, when you did a hard mode raid, people knew you it was it was an achievement because it was hard and the armor was actually different from the normal variant. So when we like, for example, when me and my clan did it uh, for uh, Oryx, we immediately went to went to uh, went to the tower and showed it off because it was 
it was uh we did it like fairly recently like when it first came out so it wasn't like we did it like years later we did it like hours be after it was like announced or not hours but like i think the within the same day or week i don't remember but it was like a huge achievement so like for that game when you when it was hard stuff like that i would showcase just the armor because i that was more of an achievement thing more than a fashion thing uh destiny 2 i don't do that because there's not a lot of things to do that for like if they if the rate if the raid armor for the hard or the master variants were different i would probably do it um or if there was like a solo flawless armor for the shit for the dungeons i think that would be a much better alternative because it's it's your it's your uh skill versus the game and i feel like i would much rather do that because then i would showcase the whole armor set do just like basic armor basic shit uh fashion for it but yeah let me know what you guys think i apologize that i was just talking but yeah um from now on if the videos are a little too short i'll probably either talk about some things at the end or probably just let the video go on until nine minutes because uh that's how i uh make money from these videos so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later